We welcome you to the Rapture Time broadcast. And I am James Bell, your host today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Above all powers, above all kings, above all nature, and all created things, above all wisdom, and all the ways of man. You James. were there before the world began. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders, the world has ever known. Above all wealth and the treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you are worth. Crucified and laid behind a stone, you lived to die, rejected all alone, like a rose, trampled on the ground. You took the fall and you thought of me and us here today. Above all, there's no one above all but you. <laughs> so we thank you and praise you that we can use our Stamina, stamina in producing something worthwhile for the glory of God. He is the most high God. And above all, there is no one else like him. That's why today, the Rapture Time broadcast is coming your way. Whoever you are and wherever you are, find joy, find peace, find strength. Find the love of God that passes all understanding because that's the message we bring to you today. And we give God the glory and we give God the praise and we give God the honor. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are God's children. We are Christ's friends. We are God's temple. And we have been justified by faith. We are complete in him. We are God's workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works. We are united with the Lord. And we are the saints of the most high God, according to Ephesians, we are bought with a price, and we are hidden with Christ in God. We are the people of faith. We are God's co-workers. And we could tell you more. But blessed be the name of the Lord. Who has made us all these things. And a whole lot more. Because of his greatness. And his all surpassing victory. Yes, sir. That we got through Jesus. In his death, burial and resurrection. There's nothing higher than that. Hallelujah. He's omnipotent. His omnipotence fills everywhere. He is absolutely and infinitely good. Hallelujah. And we're trusting him today to speak to your heart, wherever you are and wherever you are. This is why 
we're going to slow down a little today, take our time, and bring across a very interesting teaching. And we thank God for the opportunity. Yeah. Here's my wife. I praise the Lord. Greetings to each and every one of you. We can see each other, but in the spirit we are connected. And that's so wonderful because of who lives within us, who is with us, who is, who is for us. And we are one big family, the family of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to you, oh God. Hallelujah. So I greet every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, and our soon coming King. And I know we are going to have a good time together as we wait in the presence of God, listening to his word and allowing his word to work in our lives. Praise God. Praise God. Genesis chapter 12. And we are reading from verse 1 through to verse 3. Genesis chapter 12, from verse 1 through to verse 3. Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will give thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, mm -hmm. and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou, thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 40. And verse 31, Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. And uh, Final verse, Psalm 1 and verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. A word to the wise is sufficient. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We want, to, we want to speak and delight ourselves in the word, which, which is being empowered mm -hmm. for the walk of faith. Mm -hmm. As we, we saw, we, we read scriptures that had to do with family mm -hmm. today. And we, we, that, that is so important that we we are following here a pattern from the scripture, from Genesis. It comes down and it tells you in Psalms. Mm -hmm. Psalm 1, how to live. Mm -hmm. And so we want to, we, that's, that's where we want to spend some time today. Because we're going to take you into 2 Corinthians. Which is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. It states that if therefore if any man be in Christ, yeah. he is a new creature. Yes. A new creature for what purpose? Yeah. Second Corinthians 5 and verse 7 tells us how to walk. It is by faith and not by sight. Amen. And God had that from the beginning. God is a faith God. God takes us in a faith journey. And that journey is going to be successful in spite of what anybody else thinks. Even the devil himself is under our feet as we speak these words 
We call those things which be not as though they were. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse seven tells us how to walk by faith. It is the faith of it is the faith uh -huh. and not by sight. It is by faith that we walk the journey and not by sight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. We just read it. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hallelujah. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. All right, let's go to Romans chapter 5, verses 7 and 17. Romans chapter 5, verses 7 and 17. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet to adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Praise God. Praise God. And for 17, for if by one man's offense, mm -hmm. death reigned by one, mm -hmm. much more they which receive abundance of grace mm -hmm. and of the gift of righteousness yeah. shall reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Amen. And I am that person. Hallelujah. God. I have Hallelujah. received the gift of righteousness. Yes. And therefore, I am reigning in life by Jesus Christ. Yeah. And those of you who are born again, those of you who have received that gift of righteousness, we, we, all we are all reigning as kings in life through Jesus Christ. Praise Amen. God. Blessed be the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Are we, are, we, are we come to Romans 5? Yes. We 17. Romans 5 and 7. And Seven and seventeen. All right. First Corinthians. Then we go into first, first Corinthians. Corinthians chapter five yes. and verse seven. Yes. First Corinthians chapter five. This verse this seven verse and verse seventeen. First Corinthians five seven and seventeen. Mm -hmm. Let's read it. Purge out therefore the old leaven. Mm -hmm. that ye may be a new lump, mm -hmm. as ye are unleavened. Mm -hmm. For even Christ, our Passover, mm -hmm. is sacrificed for us. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First, Go ahead. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, I just read that. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are Unleavened. So that 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 shows us the steps that we put we 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 we're putting before us here today. That those things it starts by, by being justified by um, if any man being Christ is a new creature, a new creation. Okay, so that's that's the takeoff, but that's not the end. So we we're taking you on the journey yes. because it's a faith journey, just like Abraham had. A faith journey down, down, down the road. You too, in Psalm one, you'll see it. You you need a journey, yeah. and 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 that's where a lot of people think that they cut themselves short mm -hmm. out from what God has planned because they think that because you're a new creature creature in Christ Jesus, that that thing that that is all right, and that's the beginning and the end. No. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You've got to understand that this is a journey. God is not doing all of this in one moment. God is taking us through a pattern and he's taking us through learning. You got to study the scriptures. You got to show yourself approved unto God as, work, as a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So you don't want to jump to the end before you, you even begin. You've got to take your time. You got to put cruise control sometimes. Sometimes God will take you faster <laughs> and other times he'll take you slower. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God is full of patience. Yeah. So they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles and they shall walk 
and not be weary, and they shall run and not faint. So you can see God is preparing you for your journey. Hallelujah. So we, we, we want to just insist that you prepare yourself for it. And the only way you can prepare yourself for it is through the word. Hallelujah. Through the word of God. Hallelujah. Okay, we, we, we move on. Galatians chapter 5, verses 7 and 17. If you notice a pattern there, yes. verses 7 and 17, verses yes. 7 and 7, 7 and 7 and 17. Right. All right, so Galatians chapter 5, verses 7 and 17. Good. Hallelujah. Ye did run well. Oh. Who did hinder you yeah. that you should not obey the truth? You did run well. You did run well. Who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? And for 17, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. Flesh warring against spirit. Yes. Spirit warring against flesh. Praise God. Praise God. Not taking God by surprise because the, the enemy, we have an enemy now and by, I, by now you should know that he has come early on the scene and he's come to disturb the, the, the joy of, of, of God's people. Yes. And, and a lot of disturbances have come because of that. But you've got to take your time. Don't let anybody trouble you. Praise God. God. God will show you in the word how to be strong and how you must stay strong and how you got to learn to, 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 to be strong in the Lord in the right place, you, you, you know. And so you will not, you're not going to fall on the way and, and you think you can't make it. If God called you, God called you to make it. Yeah. What we're saying, what we're showing you here is scripture that it will help you to make it. Mm -hmm. God wants you to make it. Don't give up. No. Hallelujah. You've got too much to gain to lose. That's right. So yeah. you have to stand in that faith that you've got to dig in. Yes. Hallelujah. Set your feet on a solid rock Hallelujah. and let God take you there. Hallelujah. Be patient. And in your patience, you possess your soul. Hallelujah. So in Galatians 5, 7, it gives us encouragement in our walk. Let no hinder, no one hinder you. Walking from walking by faith right. and in love. Right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Galatians 5, 17 says, it gives us encouragement yes. for victory over sin. Yes. That, that's, that's what you need. You need victory over sin. Yes. You don't need to run away from God to get by. You need to run into God right. for more of God for more of God's love, for more of God's power, for more of God's strength. Yes. So you are, you, you've got to know that you were called by faith to walk in faith and to accomplish yes. the, 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 the end of your journey yeah. in faith. Yes. Do not be afraid. Yes. Hallelujah. Some of us have been going longer times Shorter time, some people living longer on the earth than other people, but you've got to be careful. You don't want to take somebody else's time. You don't, you, you're not you're not borrowing, you, you've just given, you've got to take what God gives you. That's right. And God is always fair. <laughs> Hallelujah. You wouldn't rob Peter to give Paul. No. God says he has appointed us a day in which. We'll all come before him. Yes, that day is there. So stay and preserve your energy and your strength for the journey, long or short. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> it's going to be a winnable journey. Yes. And it's going to be a journey of faith. Yes. 
Okay. Hallelujah. We've got a few more scriptures. We have one more. Ephesians chapter 5, mm -hmm. verses 7 and 17. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 5, five, verse 7 and verse 17. Okay. Watch the company you keep. Mm -hmm. If you're going on the journey with God, mm -hmm. you've got to love God's company. That's right. You've got to love what God is doing. You've got to love God set up. You, love, you have to love everything that is God. Because there's no one going to take you, take you there without God. So make up your mind. It's a long journey. 53 years of God. I'm still going. There are lots of people that, that have gone down the road. And they, and they gave and they gave up. Paul says that he didn't want to be a castaway. That's right. He wants to make the journey. The journey is doable because God is taking you. God is available, and with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. We are new creatures in Christ Jesus. We were made to win. Yes, we Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And we call. The victory real. real. Because God is real. Glory be to God. Yes, God. Yes, God. And I want to admonish you in verse 17. It says, Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Be not unwise. <laughs> Praise God. In other words, we say, don't be foolish. Right. But please understand. What is the will of God for you and for me? Hallelujah. So we take time to wait. Again, <coughs> we, we let you we let you know you must have patience. Mm -hmm. Wait so you can walk in the name of Jesus and by the grace of God. That's right. You need grace. Yes. Hallelujah. Grace will take you there. Amen. You need patience. Yes. Patience will take you there. I shall not walk contrary to God's word. Oh, Don't get in there with your own ways, oh. with your own mindset, oh. and refuse to drop it. Oh, I shall not walk mm -hmm. after other gods. Oh. Whoa. If you get in with any strange God, you are making problems for yourself. That's right. There's only one God and one mediator between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. And if Jesus is not taking you there, and God is not taking you there, the Father is not taking you there, and the Holy Spirit is not taking you, you're not going to get there. You got to stay with the big three. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. <laughs> Stay with God. Have patience. Wait on the Lord. Don't be discouraged. He will give you all the help that you need. But first of all, you must have no other God before him. No other God. I don't care what is the name. They, they, they name him. I don't care what. Beelzebub. Whatever. Whatever name. Don't take God. Don't even listen. Don't even try to listen. Don't have a listening ear for any other God. Thou shalt have none other God but me. Hallelujah. So I shall not walk in darkness. I shall not walk in my vain imaginations. I shall not walk in my, in my own way. Hallelujah. I shall not walk in lies. Oh God. You, you, got, you got to remember your, your key enemy is the father of lies. So you need to stay, you need to stay far from lying. Don't walk in pride, nor after the flesh. It doesn't matter what the, the flesh. All the lust 
that there is that comes to you. So when Satan brings it, remember the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life, they are not of God. So you cross those three out. Don't take training from a liar. You, amen. If you want, if you want to follow God and get and win, you've got to follow God and you've got to follow God all the time. There's no other God besides him. And God, God is even says he's jealous over you with godly jealousy. That's that God has a passion for you that nobody else has. And you've got to stay and enjoy the passionate God of your salvation. Mm -hmm. No disorderly, don't walk disorderly. Some people, they, they get in the race, they, they get in, but they're disorderly. Mm -hmm. And they, they have, they, they have, they, they don't have, they have no um, regulation for their lives. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they cause pain to the body. Mm -hmm. They hurt, oh, yeah, yeah. they hurt people in the process and they don't care that's not God that's of the devil we walk by faith and not by sight this other this orderly conduct is not necessary not needed not approved of no nor as the enemies of Christ I can walk the journey by faith in God, with God, by God. Hallelujah. And in Jesus' name, we will complete the journey. That's right. All things are possible yes. to him that believeth. Amen. To the Jew first, also to the Gentile. Yes. Stay with grace, mm -hmm. stay with faith, mm -hmm. stay with love. Right. Hallelujah. It is he that has given us the ability to love. Mm -hmm. And by love, hallelujah, we're going to conquer. Yes. Yes, These things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have peace. In the world, tribulation, yes. be of good cheer. Yes. Be of good cheer. If there's one word I can comfort you with today is this. Be of good cheer. Why can I tell you that? Because God told me so. Yes. And I'm telling you so. Hallelujah. Be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world. New creatures in Christ Jesus have got to fight the good fight of faith through Christ Jesus. And we will find out that the journey is going to be the most enjoyable one. As long as we set our mind to be orderly, to be respectable, and to obey God's word. Yeah. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing by the word of God. God has exalted his word. Hallelujah. Even above his name. Yes. Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. When you put your confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are affirmed yes. by God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And the devil would have a hard job getting you away from that if you will be prepared to obey God. Amen. To obey better is better than sacrifice. Please, please remember that Amen. as you go on the journey of being empowered Amen. for the faith walk. Amen. We'll talk to you about that more as we study but God bless you today yes. as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for the walk of faith. Yes. We thank you for the victory of faith. Yes. We thank you for the blessings of faith. Yes, and we thank you for the grace that is given to us when we are walking by faith and not by sight. Yes. And we pray, Father God, that your love will surpass everything else. Yes, Hallelujah. And will condition us. Yes. To walk the journey yes, until Jesus comes. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Amen. God, an awesome, what an awesome word. We are God's work on the earth, and we are the stand fast in 
We are to stand for righteousness. We are to stand for holiness so that God's will could be, could be uh, and men be on the kingdom of God. What an awesome word. We thank you again for being with us today. As, as usual, every week, we look forward to sharing the word of God with you. And we thank you for being with us. And on this first, I think it's the first week or second week in the year. And we're back here again at it, sharing the word of God. Thank you again for your support for last year. And we look for greater and bigger things to be done this year. If you'd like to support us, send your donations via the cash app to dollar sign Bell J Pastor. And I put it all in the comment section or via Zell to James Bell. Thank you again for being with us. Thank you for allowing God to use you to bless us so we could be a blessing to others. Until we see you next week, may God bless you. And remember, Jesus is Lord and coming soon. Bye-bye.